So we've got two products that we want to look at really today in this almost desktop review of the moon. Um, we've got this kind of footprint of the moon. It's a, a scale model of the lunar footprint. Uh, quite a famous photograph of the footprint on the moon. And then the, mo the lunar model itself, which as I say, is about 12 and a half centimeters in diameter. This is called the Lunar Pro model. Um, and obviously the larger the model, the more detailed it is and the heavier it is. It, it, this, as I say, this is a really heavy object. Um, and it's certainly one that you, you kind of want to be careful with. You wouldn't want to drop it. Let me put it that way. I think it would do some damage if you did drop it. So um, what's the Luna model all about? Well, it, as I say, it's made out of a polymer resin. It was released by uh, a, a company called Astro Reality, an American company, and they released it on a crowdfunding campaign uh, back last year. I think it was July, August time. Certainly was when I placed my order. Uh, and the idea was is that they would create these incredibly detailed uh, models of the moon uh, and in fact they've gone on to do other models of some of the other planets now as well and the idea is is that you would obviously get a much more tactile and hands-on feel to the models and to the moon itself and the plan always was to actually um, to actually go one step further as well and I'm going to explain how exactly that works in a moment or two. But the, the, the idea is, is that not only is this a model that you get to put on your desk and admire and pick up and actually, you know, get, get in close, look at some of the details, but they came up with the exceptionally good idea of making an augmented reality app for this as well. And the idea behind the app is simple. That by using your mobile phone you could actually not just take a closer look at the model itself but you could get information you could create almost like a data bank of information of video of animation all kinds of different things about this model and about the moon itself so uh, what i wanted to do is just kind of give you this rough overview of the model itself and then uh, show you what this app does and how this app works. So, as I say, the, the model itself is very heavy. It's a complete and faithful recreation of the moon. All of the major craters and features are on, and it comes with this very handy Perspex kind of mounting mechanism for the one of it. Well, it's not mechanised, but you know what I mean. So you can actually... Put, put this on display. I must say it feels like it could roll off at any time and kind of in, in an almost Armageddon-like moment go crashing off and explode. So um, jury's out on that and I've got a cat. So I do hope that, that my cat doesn't disturb this too much. It is quite weighty because it just is. So it does sit, you know, on there, but I'm just not completely and utterly... Uh, bowled over with the security feature of, of how it sits on there. Um, as I say, you know, the reality of that is it will probably be fine. But if it was to fall off and, and break, I would be gutted because they're not easy to get hold of these. They had to wait months and months for mine. So uh, eventually arrived just before, so very pleased. So anyway, what I'd like to do, um, I've, I've shown you the model itself and I've tried to show you as, as much as I can, a little bit of the detail that's on the model. It, it's a lifelike recreation of the moon. This is the side of the moon that we're all very familiar with. Kind of, you've got this various seas here, and the smoother parts of the surface of the moon. But of course, you've got the back side of the moon, the, the bit that we don't see at all, and, and it was famously... Uh, kind of seen with human eyes for the first time on board Apollo 8 when uh, Jim Lovell and the rest of the crew went around the back of the moon, not just the front. So um, it really is a remarkable little thing just to look at. Um, 
And as I say for myself, I've always had a fascination with the moon, especially having worked with one of the astronauts who actually landed on the moon and then collecting a moon watch as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and grab the footage from the augmented reality app so that you can see what happens when you actually point the AR, um, AR app at the moon. So let's see if I can show you that and then maybe do a closing uh, comments section as well to the video. So let's see if I can sort that out for you. So here we are on the home screen. We've got the Astro Reality app installed on the iPhone. Uh, it's a pretty much standard AR kind of augmented reality app. Uh, it basically allows you to register any um, of the different products that are sold by um, Astro Reality. And then you can cycle through which ones you have got and launch the AR experience. So there's a few different bits and pieces that you can do. We've got the Luna Pro, so that's the one we are going to pick. So off we go, switches the camera on and then starts to scan for your model of the moon and it tells you to align the camera with the moon and when we do that it picks up the bits it needs to and even puts you into a kind of starry night sky so you can see the moon in its more natural habitat, which is nice. It tells you things like temperature, distance to Earth. So there's all kinds of bits and pieces of information on there. And then as you move your camera around, you can obviously uh, see lots and lots of different things. And it, it almost doesn't look AR enough, so we can actually switch it back uh, to give it a, a much more AR type appearance. There we go, we can see the kettle in the background. So that's uh, much more in keeping with the AR experience that we all know and love. Uh, and then the model, you can rotate it, obviously on its point, being very careful that it doesn't fall off, roll off your desk and break your foot, because it really is that heavy. And then you've got some different sub-menus and different bits and pieces, and you can obviously zoom in and move around in real time. So... Um, I don't want to spoil too much of the experience for people who are actually going to buy this. So I'm not going to click on too many things here um, because, as I say, it really is worth while getting into yourself and having a good play around with it. So I'm really not keen on, on spoiling it, but I will show you... Uh, let's have a look at this see up here. So I'm going to click on... I'm going to click on it. Here, I was going to actually try and click on it like that then, and you can't do that. Um, and when you click on anything, then nothing happens. I think it's because they're both close together. Oh, there we go. So when you click on it, kind of the information pops out like that. Uh, and it kind of looks great, doesn't it? AR is so good. It really does look good. Um, doesn't I'm not tired of it at all even though it's kind of been done and been done for a good few years to be honest um, it really does look tremendously satisfying uh, with the uh, Luna Pro model and the uh, augmented reality app from Astro Reality so there you go that gives you an idea of the kind of things you can do on here I will show you one more thing which is dead dead good um, so if we go, you can look at where people landed on the moon. And if you click on to animation, there's only one animation at the minute, unless I've, I've not had a good look round, to be honest. But I think there only appears to be one animation. But what an animation to pick it. Oh, Apollo 11, man landing on the moon. And here we go. So we click on it. And then we can see... Da, da, da. There we go. The little lunar craft is on its way down to the surface. Uh, and it's landed. Contacts, all the rest. And out he goes. There's Neil Armstrong. Not to scale, it must be said. And there's Buzz Aldrin. He's out for a wander around as well. And they're having a good look round. And as I say, it's well good that it's kind of just in virtual space there 
on the coffee table. Oh, Michael Collins is having a, a bit of a a fiddle with the controls. There, it's going a bit haywire. I don't think that was in the script. Uh, and what's happening now? One of them's going back in, I think. Let's see. Yes. He's having a bit of a, a mooch around, look around, picking up some rocks for home, and then back in, and boom. There they go. Back to dock. There he goes. Mission accomplished. So um, it's quite nice. Quite nice to be able to see all of that. Like I said, there's plenty of material on this app, but the selling point of the app, the magnificence of it has got to be the um, just the wow factor of actually being able to get your phone out and um, interact with this wonderful object in such a um, kind of a hands-on approach, a hands-on way. And you can just see how much information is contained in the database. It, it is quite a lot. Like I say, it does um, keep flipping in and out. Has a bit of trouble keeping up with, um, with what's going on. But there is that much information. Can we really begrudge them that? Probably not. Um... And it is magnificent. It's wonderful. It's just so good. It's so heavy. It feels feels like I'm pretty much holding the real thing. Um, but it is very, very, very impressive. As a package, as a package, it is magnificent. So, um, I'm going to try and put this back without risk of injury or damage it's well hard there we go uh, and I'm going to show you the next kind of thing which is this virtual footprint thing so to do that we have to come back here choose the footprint and then click OK it'll start scanning for the footprint then so obviously the moon no longer works and when you pick the footprint up this is what happens As I say, it keeps breaking off. They're always about to land. Have a good look. Um, so, yeah, that is fantastic, isn't it? Um, really is something quite special. And for anybody who's remotely interested in um, kind of space and lunar stuff, this really is quite the complete package. So that's it from the Augmented Reality app. Um, I'll leave it kind of there with a final view of Buzz Aldrin as he's about to make a cup of coffee. Um after taking a giant leap for mankind to head over for a brew. So um, there we go. That's it for the Astro Reality Augmented Reality app, which forms a very impressive package along with the Lunar Pro model itself. So you, like I say, you can get this separately because I was an early backer. They've kind of packaged it together. Um, and that gives you a rough overview of what to expect. Hours and hours of content and material for you to actually watch through and interact with. Um, and now I'll go back to the normal camera, I think, if I can work out how to do it. <laughs>